Um, don't mean to toot my own horn, but... Hello beautiful people. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Sarah. I am the owner of Denim and Rain and this is my little spot on YouTube. Hello and welcome. So, today I'm going to be sharing what I have worked on and have I worked on some stuff. I am so impressed with what I have accomplished in the last couple of weeks. Feeling pretty good with myself. Um, don't mean to toot my own horn, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, starting with finished objects. Yes, I said objects. I mean, one of them, I mean, okay, so this first one I may, may need to sew in the end still, but once I have bound off, I count it as a finished object. Sewing in the tails, well, eh, that can happen at any point in time, right? I finished Lincoln's sweater, yay! So this little guy is knit out of paint box, simply a DK um, in a dark gray and caramely color. They have numbers, so I don't know the names of them because nobody can remember number names. But I used the Tin Can Knits flax sweater pattern, sort of. I did the cast on for the two to four year age and then I did 10 raglan increases, and yeah, I think it looks pretty fabulous. I also went up a needle size, because I'm a tight knitter, so it was, I just, I always have to go up, because I can't ever get cage. <laughs> but yeah, super adorable sweater. This will be for him in fall, because it's too big for him now, which is great. I tried it on him, and he was swimming in it. I'm like, perfect, that should mean it will fit you in fall. So yeah, first finished object-ish, minus tails. Um, yeah, let me show you what I've done next. Okay, I had to fix the lighting because we're having one of those days where the sun is going in and out of the clouds. And so one moment it's like really bright and then the next moment it's too dark and yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of me adjusting. But anyways, the next finished object is something I actually found while I was going through my yarn. I saw it and then I was like, uh, I, I still want to make this, but I don't want it to look like that. So I ripped it out. Um, I was making a little shawl for my daughter because she likes to walk around the house in the morning with a blanket wrapped around her. And she drags it around on the floor and it gets dirty. So I decided I'm gonna make her a shawl that she can wrap around her shoulders instead of a blanket and she'll stay cozy and warm and she won't get her blankets all dirty. So I had started it a few years ago and then it got set aside and then I never touched it again. But here it is. I crocheted her a little shawl and I finished this in two days. I cannot believe it. This is using one of the Lion brand um, like fading cakes. Don't ask me which one because I don't have the ball bands anymore and that was does a couple years ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> um, and then I held it double with a Hobie Yarns um, mohair. You can see the, the floof it has, which is absolutely fabulous. So I crocheted this with a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I just, I cast, how many did I chain? I chained 52. And then I did this fun little lacy thing. I still need to block it. It still needs to be blocked so that way this can kind of fluff out. But I have one row of half double crochet, three rows of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So like the moss stitch, but instead of um, single crochet, I did half double crochet. Um, I'm sure there's actually a stitch for that and probably has a name, but I don't know it. Um, and then I did three double crochet repeated, three double crochet repeated the little lace, and then I half double crocheted 
a big middle section and then copied the other end. So yeah, she had a cute little shawl to wrap around her shoulders and keep her cozy without getting her blanket all gross. So yeah, um, I haven't given it to her yet because um, I wanted to show it on the video first and I need to block it. I still need to block it. Um, but I'll maybe do that. Maybe we'll see it. Sh she's been eyeballing it a lot. So I think I might just give it to her. The kid doesn't care if it's blocked or not. I care a little bit, not a whole lot, not a whole lot, but a tiny bit. Blocking is not my favorite thing in the world. And I only do it if absolutely necessary. Okay. Let's move on to what I have been working on since those two have been finished. So, more granny squares, yay! Okay, wow, this is a big old mess. I have one more of the floral astronaut, and then the rest of these are not colorways because they are just fun ones that I dyed up for grins and giggles. So we'll start with my least favorite one. It's my least favorite one because it reminds me of my husband's high school team colors. I'm not a fan of like team color themed stuff. Not really my, not my jam. Um, we have a really cute mustard. There's a couple of these fabulous bright orange ones. It's not quite as bright as it is on the screen. It's a little more subdued. Then we have a couple of these green and mustardy ones that have the occasional orange fleck in them. Super retro, loving it. Most of these colors are kind of retro-y. Then there's this one, which is a more vibrant version of the last one. So green with lots of orange speckles and some brown speckling, super fun. Then another green, I've got, can you tell there's a lot of green? Um, this one, which is that same green, but this time with more brown and mustard speckles. Then, guess what? It's another green one. This one is more of a olive -y tone. I imagine like the um, Tupperware that, you know, you would find at your grandma's house. And then this very beautiful soft and subtle pink. So yeah, I've been doing a bit of crocheting, which I haven't done a lot of lately in quite a while. So all of these crochet projects like happening, I'm happy with myself. And my wrist hasn't hurt while I've been doing it, which is great. Cause usually if I do a lot of crocheting, my wrist starts to hurt. But I think because they were light enough weight, they weren't like super bulky yarns. It wasn't like hurting me too bad. Okay, and then next is another project for my daughter because uh, she's spoiled. Not really. I'm just trying to get a head start on fall winter knitting. So um, I usually knit them each each of the kids a new sweater every fall. Um, but of course, like I said, I'm trying to get a jump start on it. And usually I stick to pretty neutral colors because I like, I, I like neutrals. It's just, it's what I like. Um, but she asked me, she's like, mommy, can you please knit me a sweater that's pink or purple? I'm not, so I don't like purple. It's like my least favorite color. Sorry to all you purple lovers. I don't like it, don't like it. Probably the only type of purple I can handle is like a really deep, rich, like plum purple, but that's it. Um, and then, the type of pink she likes, I don't. I like soft, subtle pinks like this that are more nude, mauve type pinks. Um, she likes pink, like hot pink, baby pink, ballet pink, bubblegum pink, all the pinks that you're just like, who does pink? That's the kind of pink she likes. So when your daughter asks you, can you please knit me a sweater that's pink or purple? Internally, I'm like, no, I don't want to. But I'm going to because I love my daughter so much. So I'm doing it. Here it is. And yes, you be right. It also is gray because I can't just go full on pink. 
So I am knitting this with a fabulous colorway dyed up by Volenvine Yarns. This is the yarn that I've shared with you in the past that I have gotten from the thrift store. I will show you the little cake that I have. It's super fabulous, has all the pinks and the deep purples and the occasional speckling of greeny blue. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty. It's pretty. Kristen did a fabulous job. It's just not my colors, not my colors. Um, and I am holding it double with Hobie Yarns. It is a DK gray in the Amigo base. So it's 100% acrylic. So this has made the skein of yarn stretch, the hand dyed yarn stretch really far, which is great. Um, I am probably going to run out of this yarn before I finish the sleeve. So I'm going to divide up this and um, weigh it out so they're the same. And then I will probably, at the end of the sleeves, incorporate this so like this will like fade down and I'll do a little bit of color work and then end with the pink at the end of the sleeves. That's the plan, we'll see how it goes. I also have a purple that I might do instead of the pink. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, that's why you see me finish with the body, um, but stopped at the sleeves because I'm trying to decide what to do with them. Uh, the pattern, again, I, I just kind of cast on. Um, I've done enough raglans that I kind of know about the amount of stitches. I don't remember how many I cast on. And I can tell you how many raglan increases I did, but um, I don't remember how many I cast on. I did end up doubling my collar. So the collar I knit was just the gray DK. And I'd gone down a couple needle sizes from this. This I knit in a six millimeter and then this I think I did in a five millimeter, but it was still kind of like loose and it was like flopping back and forth. Um, so I picked up the stitches along here, knit, um, I think eight rows or something like that, and then joined with the existing row. So there's actually two rows of ribbing here that I joined together. Not not how I would have done a, a thick collar, but I didn't want to rip out and try to, I didn't want, I hate ripping things out. So I just kind of knit up, joined and called it good, you know. But on here I have some cute um, Star Wars stitch markers. I will put the name on the screen now and then I will also link to the shop. Um, down in the description because I'm blanking on the shop name. Sorry, um, but I have Luke and Leia on there Marking what I've worked on So there's that a sweater for my daughter, which I'm super excited about finishing I will hopefully have that finished this weekend Maybe we'll see I have to figure out what yarn I want to use for the sleeves but yeah Okay last work in progress super excited about this one. Okay, so Hobie Yarns reached out to me and asked if they could send me some yarn. Silly question, Hobie. Of course, I would love some yarn. I love their stuff. Like all of it is really great. Um, so they let me pick out some colors and I picked out these. They're neutrals, big shocker. But look at this yarn. Oh my goodness. So let me tell you about it. So this is Divina, Divino, I don't pronounce things guys. So this is 65% baby alpaca, 25% polyamide, and 10% merino wool. So this has the construction of, um, it has a polyamide tube and then it is filled with the alpaca and merino. So it is super lightweight, super fluffy, so soft, and just absolutely a divine cloud of yarn. I am adoring 
this yarn. Um, I started knitting with it, so I will show you here in just a second um, what I'm working with. So I want to say, I'm trying to remember, it doesn't say on the ball band, of course. It gives me gauge, which I can, oh, it's a four. So it's a, um, it's a four medium. So kind of like a worsted, um, worsted, Aaron. Um, but yeah, it's just so absolutely fabulous. Like, yeah. obviously I'm knitting a sweater because when you have something that looks that fabulous and fluffy and delicious, I was like, it's gonna have to be a sweater. So I just cast this on yesterday, so I'm not very far into it yet, but let me show you. All right, here we are. Ta-da! <laughs> Told you I'm not very far yet. Um, so I finished the collar, and I have started a little bit of the color work. So this is the cotton grass um, sweater by Petite Knits. Hold that thought. Yes, okay, so it's the cotton grass jumper by Petite Knits. So, it is so beautiful, I can, I like, I have seen this pattern for a while now and I've kind of like always like that. Oh, maybe, you know, someday. And then when I got this yarn, I saw it and then I was going back through my patterns. I was like, I have to knit that one. So I'm doing this light colorway at the top and then it will go into the dark. Where'd the dark gray go? Here. It'll go into the dark gray. And then in the middle of the pattern are some beautiful diamonds um, type shapes. I'm going to include a third colorway and do this really deep, beautiful cinnamony color. So yeah, it's going to be stunning. I'm very excited about it. I am knitting it on five millimeter, which is larger than the pattern calls for. I probably also, the pattern uh, would be a size medium, but I'm knitting the size small because the pattern uses a DK yarn and I am using a worsted weight yarn. I'm going up a needle size, so I'm just going down a um, size to knit. And I also did modify it just a hair. I cast on the um, collar for the extra small amount of stitches because I wanted something that was a little closer to my neck. The um, sweater has a little bit um, wider of a neck and with my cozy sweaters, I kind of like them to be a little higher and closer to my neck. Um, so yeah, I modified that a little bit and then I just, on my first knit row around, I increased back up to this amount of stitches I needed for this size small. So yeah, that was um, probably the only modification I've made thus far. I don't foresee making any other modifications besides adding a third colorway in, but yeah. Um, so far, I really like the look of the pattern and I'm enjoying knitting it. I can't wait to continue on. I will probably get a fair amount of this done today because I'm very excited. I did have to tink back. I will say my only annoyance with this yarn thus far is it does, when you have to rip it out, it does grab a little bit. So it makes it kind of a pain in the butt. So when I had to tink back because I was not counting while I was doing my color work and I messed up on a spot, first row color work, mind you. So yeah, as I was tinking back, I kept having to like tug the stitches just a little bit to get the yarn to release because it was just grabbing onto itself. So we'll see. Um, hopefully I don't have to rip any large sections out for any reason because that probably won't be fun. I mean, my swatch that I made, um, cause I swatched guys, guys, I swatched. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I, mm, granted my swatch was the four inches wide, but I only did a few rows because I didn't really care about the length. I just wanted to make sure I got stitches, my stitches on. But yeah, anyways, when I ripped out my swatch, it came out pretty okay. Like I wasn't having to yank on the yarn to get it undone just the tinking back for some reason when i was like trying to get the stitches undone it was sticking a little but whatever 
I'm excited to work on this more. Um, if you haven't checked out the Petite Knitter, I would do so because they have a lot of fabulous patterns. So many beautiful color work things. Hopefully you can't hear that very loud airplane that is flying over my house. We live kind of near an airport, uh, so it can get a little bit loud in summertime when everybody is out flying. Um, so I do have another, um, another uh, bunch of yarn to show you that I got in the mail. That's all for my projects, knitting projects that I have. But I got some beautiful Lion Brand in the mail. Uh, if you watched my budget-friendly list of yarns, I shared that Lion Brand was having a sale and that I was probably going to go back. I went back. I spun their wheel right now. I think they're doing a like a scratch thing. Like you go onto their website and they're like scratch here for a code. Well, at the time they were doing a wheel and I spun and I got 30% off. So I got a sweaters quantity worth of yarn. I got five balls of this beautiful natural heather. And then I got two balls of this, which is Canyon Sunset. Super pretty. Look at that color. It's like this beautiful, subtle, mauvey, peachy pink that's just absolutely fabulous. I am in love. So I'm going to knit a v-neck raglan that's going to have kind of like poofier sleeves. And then the pink color work is going to go down the sleeve. And then um, maybe a little bit of the color work at the bottom of the sweater. I think I just want the color on the sleeves. Like some poofy and then a little like grip at the wrist yeah that's that's what I'm envisioning we'll see if that works out or not but first I want to finish my color work sweater then I will do this other one but yeah that's all for my knitting content I do have a couple of paintings I want to share with you because I'm loving painting so the first one I'm not finished with yet this is going to be a painting of Joshua Tree National Park right it's a national park pretty sure um but yeah I still have all the detail to do. This is just like the base painting. I just got some of the colors on. Now I'll go in and add all the detail, but that's gonna take a minute. So yeah, there's that one. And then I started to do these paintings to kind of stretch my like painting skills a little bit. I ordered a set of post Pantone postcards. If you don't know what Pantone is, it's a color like company, they do colors, like, you know, Pantone color of the year. Um, so they have these postcards that look like they're paint chips. Super fun. Um, there are several other artists out there that do this and I just adore looking at all of their beautiful paintings on these chips, chips. Um, and I decided to get my own to kind of like push myself into painting some new things. So I have the first two that I have painted. Look at how cute they are. I super love them. I cannot wait to do even more. I'm at some point I'm going to, once I have more of them, I will sell the original paintings of these. I've also thought about maybe making them stickers. How cute would these be as like vinyl stickers? But yeah, so I have this landscape that I just did the other day and then this beautiful lady running away in this fabulous blue gown. We'll just call her Cinderella because she reminds me of Cinderella. So yeah, that's basically what I've been working on. Um, oh, wait, I have another thing to show you that I got. If you're not into plants, sorry. I'm just gonna show you anyways. I got a new plant. This is a Tradescantia um, white velvet. Look at how fun it is. It looks like one of those lamb's ear plants you find outside. But yeah, the fuzziness of it and the light colored leaves, I couldn't pass up. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. I did very sadly break off a chunk of her though when I grabbed it up the window. But that's okay, I'll just propagate it. It's fine, it's no, no big deal. I'm just breaking my plants up. But yeah, that was a fun purchase. So yeah, 
that's about all I've been working on. I have a whole bunch of paintings I'm trying to get done for our family room because that's our nerdy room with all of our fan art. So I've been working on those here and there. Um, I've been trying to keep up with my garden, but completely and utterly failing. I have a lot of weeds and I need to go water because even though we've been getting rain, I do have a little hoop house that has my peppers in, so I need to go water those and some of the stuff that's under my eaves. But yeah, <laughs> and then my house is a complete and utter disaster at the moment, but you know, it's okay. It's no big deal. Uh, but so that's life right now. Work, clean, garden every now and then, and knit in the evenings while we watch TV. That's the, that's the fun part. But yeah, that's all I've been working on. Let me know in the comments what you have been working on. I'd love to know. And if you haven't checked me out, I am also on Instagram and I have my website that has all of my patterns and other things available. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and you can find all the links down below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Go enjoy the hopefully sunshine or rain or whatever kind of weather you're having. Bye guys.